what advice or how do you advise uh u.s persons who are thinking of making that move from the mainland to puerto rico like what what is the steps you would normally take in, in helping them make that transition well, commonly at first act, if you're actually willing to move, right, uh, and to comply with the U.S. tax uh, mm -hmm. law, because uh, this is a full exemption, but it's provided to the extent that you comply with the U.S. tax law, uh, mm -hmm. because Puerto Rico will give you the exemption, right, if you comply with the grant, et cetera, with those check marks. Uh, but you need to comply with those uh, tests provided by, by the U.S. tax law. The first thing is what, what basically know your plans, uh, what type of incomes do you have? Uh, mm -hmm. And what are your expectations, right? It, it, this is not something that you move to Puerto Rico in 2023, liquidate mm -hmm. investments and go back in 2024 because mm -hmm. the, the IRS expects some kind of cool down period, right? At least uh, three years, something like that, uh, to, to make sure that you were fully interested and domiciled with your family, etc., with Puerto Rico, because if not, it will see it, they will see that uh, as a movement to to avoid taxes and uh, some kind of evasion, etc. So, uh, mm -hmm. first thing is to know your plans. Uh, certainly, what type of income do you have? Uh, because not this is not for basically for everyone. For example, mm -hmm. uh, if you expect to export services to Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. but you don't have uh, investments like interest, dividends, or capital gains. Uh, you don't need to apply for both tax incentives, probably by applying for the export service side, uh, you pay the 4% tax, you, you receive a W-2, and the dividends will be exempt either way, because mm -hmm. the tax degree provided, uh, granted to the, co to the company will provide fully exempt dividends. So you will not need uh, the other part of the law for individual investors. So that's one of the things that we commonly explain, because uh, complying with the Individual Investors Act, it's more expensive. Charitable mm -hmm. contributions, you need to actually purchase a home in Puerto Rico, filing fees, etc. Uh, the other part is for individual investors, right? If you want to move mm -hmm. to Puerto Rico, let's evaluate your investments. We can calculate some projections or expected tax liability in the future, depending when you liquidate uh, your investments, especially on marketable securities and, uh, and in the case of private equity, right? Because if you hold those investments for many years, you need to hold that as a additional years after moving because uh it, it is not the same rule right especially if you have uh, the person have kids uh if they are willing to move to a puerto rico school or if they are in a school that allows them to live there that's different because they then they may keep uh u.s residency because they have a place to live and th that they are not required to live with their parents okay but if one of the parents needs to be with their kids that will trigger issues with closer connections okay mm -hmm. uh so those are the principal questions that we commonly raise. Uh, investments, Puerto Rico now, uh, it's very similar to the U.S. with respect to information. With crypto assets, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, foreign accounts, Puerto Rico, this is the first year that we'll ask on their tax returns if mm -hmm. the person has some bank accounts located in the yeah. in foreign jurisdiction, like the FBAR. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's basically the same stuff. Uh, even that it apply, right, for every citizen your citizen to to notify to the f board those uh ownerships now the puerto rico wants that information as well so uh, and the puerto rico treasury church uh significant information with the irs authorities uh for investigations and all this stuff so uh those is that's very important right to to know your your movement and i i, I like to know my my clients uh, to see if this actually makes sense uh for them for the movement right because if not the risk it may be high right uh or non-compliance uh, because it will be fully uh, monitored by, by the IRS in some time. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, I guess it's helping the client just to kind of summarize what I've, what I've picked up. So it's really helping that client understand the nuances of the law and while at the same time ensuring that they are ready to become a bona fide resident of Puerto Rico. It's not just a matter of going over and counting days and running back and forth. Exactly. Basically, your center of life must shift from the U.S. mainland to Puerto Rico. Your life has to move, okay? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's not. A, it's just not movement, right? It's make sure that you comply with all the rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax 
and live that international life.